hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, in my previous video uh, we discussed about uh, determining the decimal value of uh, a signed binary number which is represented in sign magnitude system so in today's video we are going to discuss about the same concept but here the sign number will be represented in 1s complement system and we have to determine the equivalent decimal value of that number okay so let us uh, try to understand it directly by taking up a question suppose we have been given that we have been given a sign binary number let's say 1 1 0 0 and it has been mentioned that uh, this sign binary number is represented in 1s complement system okay we have already discussed how to represent sign binary numbers using 1s 2s and uh, the sign magnitude system so you please check out that video now we have been given that this is a signed binary number okay and it is represented in 1s complement system now we have to determine its decimal value okay its decimal value it's uh, what is the value of this number in base 10 system so just by looking at this number we can say that it is a negative integer why because this sign bit it is 1 and be it the sign magnitude system or 1s complement system or 2s complement system if the sign bit this the leftmost bit is 1 it means that it is negative now if we have been given that the sign binary number is represented using 1s complement system in order to convert it into decimal value we have to proceed in a step by step way okay so first let us write the number okay 1 1 0 0 now we have already uh, discussed the conversion of a binary number into decimal by the sum of weights method okay we know that this position has a weight value of 2 to the power 0 this has a weight value of 2 to the power 1 this has a weight value of 2 to the power 2 and this has a weight value of 2 to the power 3 so here also we'll do the same what we'll do is that 1 into 2 to the power 3 okay in this place there is a bit 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 0 okay now we have to include an important step here and that step is that this msb bit okay the extreme bit okay on the left hand side the weight value associated with it which is 2 to the power 3 there we will include a negative sign okay we have to include a negative sign minus sign now we'll evaluate this expression so it will be minus 8 okay minus 1 into 2 to the power 3 which is minus 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 okay and this is equal to minus 4 now 
this is not the result this is not the decimal value of this in one is complement system another important step is that the result that you get here okay by the sum of weights expression and including a minus sign in the msv position weight by including a minus sign the result that you get you have to add a 1 to it okay you have to add a plus 1 to it and the result which you get finally after adding a 1 that is the required value in decimal form so this number 1 1 0 0 which is represented in 1s complement system okay 1s complement system okay which is represented in 1s complement system signed binary number its value in decimal form is minus 3 okay so there are three important steps first you write the given sign binary number okay then you assign the weight values to them 2 to the power 0 1 2 3 and so on then the extreme left bit the msb bit the weight value which is associated with that you include a negative sign only in that msb bit you include a negative sign then you find out the value of the expression now that is not the value then you have to add another plus one to it and then you will get the required value in base 10 form the value of the signed binary number which is represented in 1s complement its equivalent decimal value will get so this is the step okay so let us take another example so that uh, we understand it in a more better way suppose we are given another number signed binary number which is represented in 1s complement system it is a signed binary number which is represented again in 1s complement system now we have to find out its equivalent value in decimal form again first step is the examination of the sign bit again here it is 1 so it is a negative integer so first step we will write the number the binary number then we will assign the weight values 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 7 okay so using the same sum of weights concept we will convert it into decimal form so it will be 1 into 2 to the power 7 plus 1 into 2 to the power 6 plus 1 into 2 to the power 5 plus 1 into 2 to the power 4 okay plus the remaining they are all 0 so we can keep it as 0 now this bit the msb bit okay the extreme bit in the left hand side the msb bit there the weight associated with it is 2 to the power 7 and in that position we will include a minus sign or a negative sign that is the most important and critical step in the 1s complement system where you have to find out the equivalent decimal value so now we will evaluate this expression so it will be minus 128 plus 64 plus this is 2 to the power 532 plus 2 to the power 4 is 16 okay and the result of this is equal to how much minus 16 okay 64 plus 36 96 plus 602 112 and this is 
uh, minus 128 plus 112 is minus 16. Now, this is not the final result. This is where most of the students make mistake. This is not the result. In one is complement system, the result that you get from this operation, you have to add a plus 1 to it. And the result which you can get now, that is minus 15, this is the decimal value of this number, okay, 11110000, which is represented in one is complement system, the sign binary number, okay, 11110000, okay, this binary sign binary number, which is represented in one is complement system, its decimal value is minus 15. Okay. Now, let us take another example. So, here we have taken another sign binary number okay, in 8 bit form and uh, it is represented in 1s complement system. So, the number is 11101010. So, again we have to convert it into its equivalent decimal form. We have to determine its value in decimal form. So, again by looking at the sign bit, the MSB bit which is 1, we can say that it is a negative integer. Okay, so, let us determine its value. So, first we will write the number, the individual bits. Then we will assign the weight values associated with them, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 7. Now, then we will write the value using sum of weights expression 1 into 2 to the power 7 plus 1 into 2 to the power 6 plus 1 into 2 to the power 5. Okay. It is 0 in the 2 to the power 4 place, so we will not include that directly, 1 into 2 to the power 3, again 2 to the power 2, the bit is 0, so we will not include it, 1 into 2 to the power 1 and in this place also it is 0, so we will not include it. Now, in the MSB bit which is 1 and uh, it has a weight value of 2 to the power 7, we will include a minus sign. Okay, this step is very important to include a minus sign in the MSB bit weight position. The weight value will include a negative sign or minus sign. Now, we will evaluate the expression which is equal to minus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 2. Okay. This is equal to uh, 64 plus 36, 106, 106. So, it is minus 128 plus 106, which is minus 22. So, this is not the final result. Okay? Now, another important step in 1s complement system only is to add uh, 1 plus 1 to this evaluated value, which is equal to minus 21. Now, this is the decimal value. Okay, of the given sign binary number which is represented in 1s complement system that is 1110010. Okay, binary number which is represented in 1s complement system. Okay. So, here we have discussed around three examples okay, and uh, in all of those uh, three examples I have deliberately taken negative integers. Okay. Now, suppose in the place of this MSB sign position there would have been a positive value. So, it would have made uh, no difference because it would have been 0. So, the negative, okay, the negative sign would have been associated with a 0 bit and it would have been it would have been no it would have made no difference to it and the outcome the result 
will be would have been a positive number so that's why i didn't include any positive integers here so i wanted you to make understand okay that how a given number can be judged whether it is positive or negative by examining the sign bit okay the sign position if it is 1 it means that the given number is negative and if it is a 0 it has a 0 in the msb position it means it is positive okay so here we have uh, deliberately taken three negative integers and we have determined their equivalent values in the base 10 or decimal system okay so uh, i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much